While Uber planned to start tracking data from rides people complained about, you may have missed this breakthrough in schizophrenia, the artificial intelligence that beat a Go master, and getting chemical information from your sweat in the moment. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where sweating to the oldies is something I wanted everyone to buy in the 90s. Here's something Simmons would love. Berkeley researchers developed a new wearable to track your sweat, and not just how much is emitted, but what's in it in real time. Sweat is very complex, so we decided to target four different chemicals. See, bro needs more potassium. It can help spot dehydration, muscle fatigue, and chronic stress. It could maybe even help manage diseases like diabetes or flag chemical exposure. That sound was every wearable company ever flinging money Berkeley's way. Go is one of the most complicated board games around. Where chess has about 20 possible moves for each piece, Go has about 200. And that's why artificial intelligence could not crack it until Google's deep learning division stepped in. It's AlphaGo, and it used machine learning algorithms to input more than 30 million Go moves. Google then challenged the European champ to step to the table. He lost game one. It like play slowly, so it's why, be, uh, begin the second game, I fight. But with that strategy, he lost the second game. For the third, he attacked the entire time and lost that one too. It's all fun and games until somebody starts thermonuclear war. What's it doing? It's learning. Scientists at the Broad Institute have finally cracked the genetic black box of schizophrenia. They found the gene that regulates immune system function, called complement component 4, or C4, can cause synaptic pruning, aka it kills connections to brain cells early. The discovery is rainbow worthy, since that action severs neuron connections when you're young, and by the time you're 30, the walls between reality and your imagination are crumbling. This discovery means that the genetic source can likely be treated with medication one day. And finally, athlete Horatio Lawrence paraglided through a stunning Aurora Borealis display in Norway, and we are all in awe. This episode was brought to you by Go90.